distracted driving can really uh, be catastrophic. Earlier this morning, it was. Flames flying after DPS says a semi-truck collided with four cars and a second semi, killing five people. Failed to slow down and, and ran into the back of stopped traffic. This crash, a tragic end to a series of three big I-10 freeway crashes over a five-hour time frame today that had many crews working overtime. But DPS together. Captain Keith Gephardt um, says his agency had a few things so working it, in their it's favor. A lot, it's a little easier in the metro area to move uh, resources around. We'll move some staffing over from one of the other districts and bring them over to cover our calls for service. At the deadly crash near the Loop 202 Santan Freeway interchange, Gephardt estimates that plan allowed there to be 15 to 20 DPS officers assisting throughout the afternoon with the help of the city of Phoenix, the city of Chandler, and ADA. Helping us with it at first with some of the off-ramp closures and so forth is a big help, and they're always there to help us with uh, highway incidents. DPS also has specialty units, like commercial vehicle enforcement troopers, who are trained to deal with situations like today. Gephardt says this multi-pronged approach is essential in quickly opening back up impacted areas. Based on all the moving parts and what we knew we had, um, we made that estimate, hoping we could have it open by five, and, and thankfully we were able to do so. Now, Gephardt says it's time for the real investigative work to begin. A lot of uh, what's done in semi-trucks now is, is uh, digital, or it's, uh, they have digital logs, they have GPS, a lot of these companies track their vehicles. So there's going to be some things that we have to look into to kind of uh, see if we can find out exactly what happened in this case. Whatever those findings may be, Gephardt's message to drivers is the same. Never drive distracted. All it takes is for you to take your, your eyes off the road for a moment. Um, and driving, you need your, your undivided attention. Gephardt says many of the collisions he sees on the, on the road are the result of distracted driving. He doesn't have a timetable on how long this investigation will take, but as soon as we get any new information, including on if that distracted semi-truck driver faces any charges, we'll be sure to let you know as soon as possible on the AZ Family News app. Live in Chandler, Elliot Polikoff, Arizona's fan.